Hello, Stampers. Today for my, wait, what? Wednesday tip video. It's not going to be earth shattering or anything, but it was kind of an aha moment for me. So here's what went down in my Stampin' Studio. I awarded some of the glitter enamel dots to my team members as um, a sales incentive and I needed to get them in the mail. They just came in. I was gone in Thailand last week and I want to get this stuff out in the mail as soon as possible. So I grabbed the dots and I took an envelope and oops, they're too big for the envelope. Well, I don't have any other size envelopes besides these, unless I go to these great big giant things, which of course we don't need a great big giant envelope for these enamel dots, right? So I thought, hey, I've got tons of designer series paper. Let's just make our own envelope. So I wanted to show you how I figured out what size I needed and how quick and easy this was because it was something that hadn't dawned on me. It's like, oh, I don't have that size envelope. I'm going to have to go buy it, da, 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 or use one of these great big ones. And you know, when you go through a lot of these, it gets kind of pricey. So I thought, why not make it really cute and use up some of the designer series paper I have as a demonstrator once this paper retires I usually don't use it anymore but here I found another great use for it so let me show you how I did this I got out my envelope punch board and my ruler and I took a look at my enamel dots and I said I need something that is bigger than six by four and a half okay now on the envelope punch board is a card size guide. And if I look through here, I came down to, ooh, four and a half by six and a half. This should work perfect. It tells me that my paper size needs to be eight and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. So I took a piece of this adorable designer series paper and cut it to those dimensions. And then it tells me that I need to start my first score line at three and three quarter inches. So let's get rid of this arrow on here because that's from a class that I did previously. I'm going to put my designer series paper in here and I'm going to have it go up to three and three quarters inches just for this very first punch and score. So you're going to punch it and then put your tool right inside this little guideline and score it. And now for all the rest of my score lines, you're going to use that first score line you did with the score guide. You don't have to measure anymore. So we're going to line that up, score and punch. And again, line up your score line. It's kind of hard to see on this paper. I'm going to fold it a little bit so I get it in the right place. And one more time. Punch. And now, because... I'm just kind of particular about that. I'm going to use the other end and round my corners and it makes it look, it look like a really professional envelope. And here we go. Now, which side do I want in the outside? Do I want these polka dots or do I want this? And I think I want the green floral. Grab my bone folder here and we're gonna burnish those fold lines. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of the liquid glue here and here. Oops. This will fit in here perfectly. And then I also have a card and an envelope that I'd like to enclose. So I will fill those out and also fit those in here perfectly or put a line of glue right here seal it up and voila we have custom made envelopes and these are all glitter dots going out to my team and I'm just going to use one of my return address labels and then I've got a bunch of these Avery labels that I'm going to put on the front of my envelopes so that the post office can see them nicely. And I've got them covered up here because, well, I don't need to share their addresses with you, right? 
But there we go. I just thought this was a great aha moment to use up that designer series paper that we all hoard. I know we're all hoarders, right? I know we are. And uh, send out a little fun mail. And I want to thank everybody for the orders that they placed last week while I was um, in Thailand on the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip. Oh my gosh, we had the most amazing time. And I have to apologize. I have fingernail polish right here. This is what happens when you do your own fingernails, and this is why I should pay somebody else to do it, right? <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Hope you guys have a great day. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. Make sure you go check out my blog. I've got a lot of great projects on there at www.astampabove.com. And also, hop on over to my Facebook page, A Stamp Above Your Creative Coach. You can find that by doing a little search for it. I've shared a ton of pictures from our um, Thailand trip and also a super funny video of a giant cockroach that my daughter was greeted with when she opened the door to our resort room. It is really funny. I hope you guys have an amazing week and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.